Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Why isn't XRP pumping? The market is hot. Bitcoin has been blazing to the upside today, getting over $44,000 for the first time in over a freaking year and a half. Why then is XRP moving sideways? Well, that's what I want to talk about because there seems to be a bit of distress from some within the XRP community. Is something actually functionally wrong? I mean, there's all sorts of posts. Like this, for instance, here's a post from an XRP community member named Chloe XRP. This is one of many that I came across, and she wrote, like, seriously, dot, 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 F XRP with a angry face. and shows the Bitcoin price, 43149 at the time, and then the price of XRP at the time, $0.61. Cents. And, and to be clear, this is not to disparage or make fun of anybody that is frustrated. It's certainly not to make fun of Chloe here. Definitely not. Um... Actually, I'm sympathetic to people feeling this way. I totally understand where you're coming from. But what I want to do is uh, drop the science on you a little bit. What I want to do is share with you some facts and let's talk through this logically. And I'm going to do my very best to persuade you in this latest Moon Lambo hot jam that everything is within normal parameters. Everything's behaving normally. There is nothing wrong with XRP. And I'm going to do my best to persuade you while acknowledging the state of things right now. It just doesn't matter. But I'm, I'm telling you. I just, it's just there's been no shortage of people getting very frustrated. And again, I genuinely am sympathetic, but that's why I want to try and help. I can't tell you whether it makes sense for you to buy or sell or hold. It's not financial advice, but I can tell you with a historical perspective whether or not something is amiss right now. And I'll tell you at the outset, spoiler alert, it's not. Everything is awesome. Like seriously, in terms of how things are positioned and uh, let's go ahead and break it down. But uh, before going any further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. So why are people so frustrated? Well, it's, it's not hard to understand. I understand where people are coming from. Here's a, on live coin watch. Price for XRP, now it's at 62 cents. But look at over the last 30 days. It's down just over 8%. It's down over the last 30 days, 8%. Now you look at Bitcoin. It's up almost 25% over the last 30 days, the same time period. So XRP down 8%, Bitcoin up about 25% over the same period. I get it. You look at it there, you're like, WTF, mate, what's going on? Well, there's this post. Um, this was on December 4th, so the other day, uh, from attorney Bill Morgan. And, um, and he was looking at this and, and um, not too thrilled with the price action either. And, and fair enough, you know. Uh, he said, seriously, after practically doing nothing while Bitcoin at $39,000, $40,000, $41,000, and $42,000, and he shared this screen grab showing this red candle of XRP going down to $0.61. Cents. Just a dramatic dip. And, uh, and I did respond. It was just kind of a quick response at that note. And I wrote the following. And, and so this is yesterday. And by the way, like this did happen. You may recall if you were paying attention close to the charts, which all of you were because everyone listening is like me and refreshing uh, their app like every five seconds to see what their portfolio tracker <laughs> shows the, their crypto net worth to be. Uh, but uh, I uh, but there was this moment where Bitcoin, after climbing up to, I think, a little over 42,000 the other day, it went down. And then, like, as it turns out, pretty much every altcoin under the sun sold off at the exact same time within like a minute. And it, it seemed to have uh, halted Bitcoin. So it may, I don't know for sure exactly uh, where, where the flows went. It may have been the case that money came out of the altcoins and flowed into Bitcoin, stopped the bleeding. I mean, not that there was a whole lot of bleeding for Bitcoin, trust me. <laughs> There's no problem with that. Um, we talked about that a fair bit in my last video. Um, but then of course today, Bitcoin moved, continued to move to the upside, breaking you know the $44,000 barrier and coming back down a little bit. And so I wrote, take a look at the top 50 coin charts on Live Coin Watch, and you'll see that tons of altcoins plummeted at exactly the same time, not just XRP. In fact, it's almost all of them. And folks, that is true at the time. Uh, so I understand he's focused on XRP because for a lot of people, me included, like this is the coin that we care most about. It's my largest individual holding. I, like the, the price of XRP over the long term is of paramount importance to me. It's a huge part of where I'm expecting my crypto life changing wealth to come from, admittedly. So yes, if there was something wrong, actually wrong, I would be freaking out. And so after responding to him with that, um, we had some also not so awesome price action for XRP today, even as Bitcoin continued to rip to the upside. 
And so uh, Attorney Bill Morgan posted me in this, uh, uh, tagged me rather in this. And if you're listening, Attorney Morgan, thank you very much for tagging me. I do appreciate this. And it presented a perfect opportunity for me to share my humble opinion here. And again, um, Bill Morgan, he is absolutely fantastic. Um, he's just been an incredible voice for uh, like a, a strong majority of what's been happening in the last few years regarding the SEC v. Ripple lawsuit. I've had questions for him. He's, he's clarified. He spent countless, I don't even, I can't even imagine how many hours he spent typing up threads on social media platform X and just trying to help people understand uh, since he has an actual legal background, whereas people like me and most of us don't. Um, so anyway, just shout out to attorney Bill Morgan. Uh, I appreciate him, but I do have a different perspective than he does on this. And that's why I, I, I appreciate having the opportunity to share my thoughts on this, but uh, he had additional concern today. And so he tagged me and he wrote correction to previous post. Seriously after still practically doing nothing while Bitcoin hit $39,000, $40,000, $41,000, and $42,000, and now $43,000. Moon Lambo, and this is where he tagged me, he says, Moon Lambo can't say it's other altcoins plummeting today. This is XRP-specific flat price action. And so I saw that, <clears throat> and then I um, and I had looked at uh, the price in actually a little bit, because that point in the... Uh, in the morning, I was a little bit busy, but I was like, okay, well, let's take a look at this. And so I did. I did my own analysis, and I looked at the top 50 cryptocurrencies by market cap, and I tracked some stuff, and I wrote this response to him, which I'm going to share with you now, and I'm going to expand upon it in certain ways as we go through this. But this is why I'm saying, like I said, the outside of the video, why is an XRP pumping? Well, this is what I'm about to explain, but there is nothing to worry about here. Like, I firmly, firmly, firmly believe that is true. And here's what I wrote. Uh, it's not true that only XRP is roughly flat or down. Out of the top 50 coins, <clears throat> here are all the coins that are down today in order. And I'll pause and note, I'm not going to read them all. They're on your screen. But uh, th those are the coins that were in the red at the time I posted this, ranked by market cap. And then I wrote the following. That's 17 out of the top 50 coins, excluding stable coins, that are down by any amount at the time I'm posting this. But there are also coins that are flat, even if technically in the green. Here are coins in the top 50 that are up by less than 1%. And so folks, think about this. The way I look at it is, if a coin is down by less than a percent or up by less than a percent, it's flat. Let's be real. It's flat. It's moving sideways. It's doing nothing exciting, right? And so there were another six right there. And so I then wrote the following. That makes 23 out of the top 50 coins, excluding stable coins, that aren't doing so hot today. About half of them. And so I'll pause a note here. Uh, since we're taking out stable coins, that does mean that at that point in time when I posted this, over half of the coins were flat or down. Over half of them. This is not unique to XRP. But it's easy to feel like it is. You know, because you only hold so many coins. Look, there are over 20,000 coins in existence. How many do you hold? The answer for me is close to 30. I don't know the exact number. I haven't counted in a while, but it's about that. How many do you hold? And think about it. And you know, so you, you hold like a small percentage of total coins, way less than 1% of coins, right? But you know that coins pop off at different times, right? You're aware of this. One will go. The next day, maybe it's something else. A week later, it's this or that, whatever it is. They're popping off at different times. It's not that they all literally go at once. Not literally. If you zoom out on a chart, it could look like that. But if you get into the nitty gritty of it from day to day, no, they're popping off at different times, right? So what are the odds that when you see on social media news that a particular coin is going off, what are the odds that you're going to own it? Almost zero. The answer is almost, it's almost, it's very low. It's a very low chance that whatever is going off at any given moment, you own. So it can make you feel like you've made all the wrong decisions. Whatever coins I pick, they're the bad ones. What about, oh, idiot. I'm such an idiot sick. You can beat yourself up about it. And you can think that you actually did the wrong stuff. But that in and of itself is not an indication. That specifically is not an indication that you did something wrong. You, you shouldn't expect that most of the coins you hear popping off, you'll own. You shouldn't expect that. That's completely unreasonable, right? So you so like, don't look at it that way. So the fact that most coins are moving sideways or down today that at the time i posted this anyway that's not surprising that shouldn't be surprising at all it doesn't mean there's something wrong with them 
Not at all. It's just that most of what it is to be in crypto is to just sit there and hold and be patient. And eventually, you know, if, if you do have the right stuff, and again, I can't, I mean, look, we placed our bets, right? We placed our bets. And for me, XRP is one of them. We'll find out if it's right and if it's going to go to new all-time highs. I think the answer will be is yes. I made that very clear. But again, just because other coins are going off, it doesn't mean, mean that the ones that you hold are, will not ever go off. It doesn't mean that. That is not what that means. Now, it doesn't mean they will go off either, but what I'm saying is this is something that humans do to themselves. It's a psychological thing. You're beating yourself up. It feels like you're missing out, but you're, you're, you're like, you. that is not an indication you did something wrong. So just take that to heart. Stop beating yourself up. It's okay. And then I wrote, but even if it were the case that XRP were the only coin that's flat today, it wouldn't matter. Focusing on price action of any coin over an extremely short period of time like this tells us nothing. I'd also like to point out that most months, XRP price is down. This is normal. You can view data showing this here, and I provided the link. And I'll be brief on this because I made an entire video thoroughly breaking this down. So some of you may have seen this. This is the Crypto Rank website, and it shows the price action for XRP every single month, up or down, and to what percentage, dating back to August of 2013. We have over 10 years worth of data. And if you compare the down months versus the, the up months, over half of the months are down. The, in fact, by a good bit. Um, I haven't tabulated every single month here. You could do it if you want to take the time to do it. It's on your screen. You can figure it out. But it's, it's over half. Most months, XRP price has been down. So if you just make a bet on any given month, will XRP price be up or down? If you vote, I think XRP price is going to be down this month, you will more frequently be correct about that than not. You'll be correct if you bet that XRP price is typically going to go down. Now, on the surface, that might sound terrible, but actually it's not. And you should take comfort knowing that this is actually normal. Um, and so I expanded upon this and I wrote, despite most months being negative for XRP, which beats up on holders psychologically, it is still number five in market cap out of over 20,000 cryptocurrencies which makes it one of the most successful coins in existence. The reason it's still in the top 10, despite most months bringing us negative price action, is that it has a history of absolutely blasting off and melting faces when it finally goes, ultimately hitting a substantially higher plateau. So, so just to be clear, we'll pause here to make sure it's clear what I'm talking about here is, even though it's, Price is actually, it looks like it's trending down for periods of time because you have more down months than up months. And if that persisted forever, then you know eventually it would just go down to zero, right? But they're not, it's not always dramatically down each month. It's just that that's a direction. So, but why, why doesn't it ultimately continue to trend that way? Well, because when XRP goes, like I wrote here, it really goes. So I don't care if you're down a month like 1% or 5% or 10% or 20% from month to month. And then you have a few where it's up a little bit, time to time, like, you're not going to keep trending down towards zero when every few years, whatever it ends up being, you're up like thousands of percent, which historically is what we have seen here. That's why. So yes, most of the months down, but then when things really get hot, it goes. And this is just, it's behavior of XRP that historically is very normal. It's just data, folks. It's just data. And I then wrote... XRP has a history of lagging behind most other coins, shaking out weak hands before going parabolic. I personally think XRP is excellently positioned, and I'm looking forward to see altcoins run. I believe XRP will be part of the party. And that's the end of my post. And it is true historically that XRP absolutely lags behind other coins. So it may feel like it's just never going to happen, but now XRP is no longer, uh, you know, shackled as a result of the SEC nonsense. It has legal clarity. So if Bitcoin hits a new all-time high, I believe that XRP is going to run and finally hit a new all-time high. If this, it, you know, it's long, that, that is a requirement, I think. I don't think we're going to see a new all-time high for XRP without that. Bitcoin's got to hit its all-time high. But I do believe we'll see that. We'll see it enter price discovery, but it may be after every other coin. Or, or most, not literally, but maybe most coins. And so, again, I want to reiterate this. You should expect that most of the time when you see news that a coin is blasting off, and it's, you should expect that it's a coin that you will not hold because you, you listening hold a tiny percentage of all of the coins. 
you hold a tiny percentage. You should you should expect that most of the time you hear this news, it's not going to be something you hold. And instead of feeling FOMO, feeling like you're missing out, recognize that no, this is normal based on numbers. It's it's simple math that that's normal. You should you should keep hearing this day after day that all this stuff's going off and you're not a part of it. You should expect that. That's okay. That's normal. That in and of itself doesn't mean you did something wrong. Now, maybe you put, picked a bunch of crap coins and then nothing that you hold takes off. Okay, I mean, I don't know what you hold. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, the fact that some coins are going off that you don't hold, that in and of itself is not a problem. You should expect that absolutely. And it's just like people, people are their own worst enemies when it comes to investing. That's why I wanted to highlight this. I know people are kicking themselves, in the, you know, on the, the rear side for like when this stuff happens. But you shouldn't. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make logical sense. It's just how humans behave. So stop being human, damn it. Just, just be a robot. Like, like, I'm an XRP bot. Beep, boop, beep. I feel no emotions. It's fantastic. Just, just be, be, be like that. <laughs> be like Moon Lambo. <laughs> Let me know what you think, but I'm feeling great about this. And the best is yet to come. And I'm glad to be here on this ride with all of you beautiful people out there. And thank you so much for the, the support. I could not be more appreciative uh, appreciative of had the honor of going through all this and, and running this YouTube channel with all the support. Uh, coming up almost five years. My five-year anniversary, by the way, running this channel, December 14th. That's when I launched my first YouTube video, my first hot jam, December 14th, 2018. My how time flies when having fun. So thank you, everybody. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.